now to get alerted as more classic contents will be uploaded on this channel for you guys so going back to the last time that we discussed i said we'll talk about a conversation a brief conversation between mercy Pere, and cross to let us know that percy has a foundation to it it didn't just crop up for it didn't just cover from Perry coming into the house and say, Oh, I want to go for mercy. He had that in mind before he even entered the house at all. And he told his friend, his then friend, Cross. First and foremost, I will say that the fallout between General Perry and Cross the Boss is to the disadvantage of Percy Sheepers. Why did I say this? It is because Cross knows a lot about the foundation of Percy way before the BB Ninja house. You would remember that Perry is always saying it, that he had told Cross before the house that he liked Mercy. She was his first choice. He had told Cross that even before entering the house at all. And so the conversation that I'm talking about goes like this. That is Mercy, Perry, and Cross having a conversation about Percy. Mercy and Perry were lying together on the couch, covered up with a duvet, while Cross, standing, was watching them with a smile on his face. General Perry looked so in love, and Mercy was blushing as usual. I do not know how that picture of them must have looked to cross, but something must have prompted him to ask Perry if he was happy and gone. Gone here in this context mean if he has fallen completely for Marcel Lambo. Then Perry replied that yes, he was gone with a sheepish smile on his face. Cross then went further and asked Perry, please take note of this one. Cross asked Perry if his dream, that is, if Perry's dream came true for him. And Perry answered that yes, his dream became true. We didn't understand that question very well until the show was over. And Cross said in an interview that it was a dream come true. For Perry to now have mercy as is. Taking us back to their convo, it means Perry must have discussed mercy with Cross before the house, saying that it would be a dream to have mercy as his own. Because why would Cross say, Oh, did your dream come true? Even though that they must have had a discussion about that. In fact, Cross said that it was a dream come true. For both Mercy and Perry to become Percy. We remember on the last day when Perry and Cross were having their conversation about Mercy. And <laughs> Perry was so unsure of Mercy's real feelings for him. We saw how Cross said Perry broke down all his defenses for Mercy. And they both hoped she was not playing him. You know, Perry was saying that normally when he, he, he is getting into a relationship with a lady, that he was always cautious. He was always careful, not wanting his genuine feelings to get involved. But that in Marcel Lambo's case, that he was not cautious at all. You know, all the walls he built around himself to defend himself against genuine feelings, that all of them just broke away. You know, he just fell headlong. For Mercy Lambo. And that is why we, we saw that moment of weakness. He was unsure. He didn't want his heart to be broken. So many times in the house, he would tease Mercy. Mercy, if you break my heart, the thunder that will fire you and Mercy will laugh, you know. Even on that last day, Perez still went to meet Mercy and said, Mercy, are we continuing this? Do you want me to adjust? Is it all cruz? And Mercy was like, no, stop it. Perry, don't think too much. You are my love. And she gave him that assurance. And I'm happy she gave him that assurance because the day before, when they had their first fight, Perry to give Mercy assurance. 
you know, he, he made her know that the, genex- the, that the connection that he had for her was genuine. It was 100%. It was real. So that is all about the foundation of Prasi. That is the love story and the friendship between Marcel Lambo and General Perry. Marcy and Perry, you know, they were just doing their thing. They did not know that they were creating one of the biggest friendship ever. Look at their fan bases. The mercenaries and the patriots, they went on a hangout last week, like we discussed. And, you know, it, it was fun. This is the first time we'll be seeing something like this. In the history of BB Ninja, all fan bases will fight themselves. But not these ones, not patriots and mercenaries. They are one. I would say that Pere is the king of mercenaries, while Marcy is the queen of patriots. And we will keep supporting both of them. They gave us so many memorable moments. There was so, so much fun to watch on screen, you know. Is it um, the judgeist in the locker room? Or Pere special better treatment for Mercy? The short but sweet birthday case? The pool parties, the connection on the dance floor. Is it their exciting conversations? I love listening to them talk. I love listening to their conversation. They had so many beautiful moments. They were funny. They were witty. They were crazy. And is it their fantastic chemistry? Oh my God. Their chemistry was so mad that you would feel it wherever you are. It was so obvious that these two wanted each other so bad. They could barely wait to get out of the house. We miss them so much on screen. And to further cement our pains as sheepers, these two coconut heads decided to go private with their relationship. They decided to go private with their friendship. But all in all, we will always wish both of them well. And we will continue to sheep and support them. No matter how much the children of anger cry, we will keep shaping Percy friendship. We will not stop. No law says you can shape friendship, not even the unfortunate tears of haters. And I want to thank you guys for shaping along with me. Please, guys, 